Next up, guys, Ortex Guy here with your 12.8 opening bell Ortex update. DTC highest since before the January run up. But look at that juice, short interest, and how fast it's climbed up. Current move today a man knocked on my door and asked for a small donation towards the local swimming pool. I gave him a glass of water. So taking a deeper look guys, short interest is rising. Short interest at 19% plus days to cover 2.14. Also potentially a ton of shares borrowed today by short hedge funds. Bring it on diamond hands. So, so currently the short interest report has 19.04% current short interest of the free float. This is up quite a bit over the past seven days alone. We're seeing more short hedge funds short the stock, trying their hardest to drive it down, but the AMC apes are fighting back and still buying the dip consistently. The beginning of the end, let's check this out. So hear me out and please correct me if I'm wrong. Let's say Joe invested his life savings into SHI, I mean Citadel, 250K of it. He believes as anyone would that he would get a decent ROI year after year. The last year, however, they lost a lot. So obviously Joe lost as well. Now, like anyone, Joe is thinking I better pull out. This doesn't look good, I've lost faith, etc. Citadel decided to implement a plan that would allow Joe to only pull out so much of his own money every quarter, thus causing Joe and everyone else that stuck to lose even more. Here's my thoughts. Can't Joe and everyone else sue for their losses? However, Citadel shorted illegally, etc., etc. Would that not constitute a reason for investors to sue in an attempt to recover some of their losses? Breach of contract, perhaps? Please help me down below. And someone down below said, plus Citadel likely hide behind annotated risk tolerance. It's in the business of short selling, which is open for unlimited losses, something investors are made aware of. However, investors may be able to sue on torts committed by Citadel. There are also security laws options, such as breach of fiduciary duty. Ultimately, we would need more facts for a compelling list of prosecutable offenses. For locking up investors' cash, likely not a problem based on contracts investors had to sign. In my opinion, we'd have to take a look at the contract to see what's really all in there, and my guess is these contracts are probably pretty thick. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.